Hello everybody, my name is Khaled Siddiqui and in this video I'm going to teach you how to change the screen on a Garmin Novi 2597 LMT. These are the units. Now first I need to show you that just by appearance a Garmin GPS may appear as if the screen is good when in reality the screen is broken internally. So this is something that there's a lot of misconception when people buy used GPS units from like flea markets or other places where they cannot turn it on. Like you go to a garage sale and you can't turn it on and there's a good nice little GPS, you buy it. When you come home, you realize that the screen is broken when it's in perfect shape from the exterior. And I'm gonna tell you why, pay attention. So when you look at a screen, both these GPS units, the screens appear flawlessly, flawless, not a single scratch on both these units. But let me turn these on. Let me turn it on and you will be surprised. Okay, do you see that? The screen is broken from inside. Okay, now I'm gonna show you this one. Look how flawless this appears to be. And let me turn it on. Even the Garmin logo comes, right? You you would see this, you would say, oh, okay, it works fine. But wait, let it, let it boot up. See the broken part? There you go. This is the broken part. So both these units have broken screens when when you turn them off, they appear perfect. So be careful when you're buying a used GPS to make sure it's not internally broken, whereas physically it appears to be good. Okay, so now what we are doing, now we are going to replace the screen. Okay, so let's do that. The first thing we need to do is put it on a nice smooth surface well, like uh, maybe a padding or something this is a rubber silicon rubber so this should be safe now you need a star shaped screwdriver let's see what sh what size it is t5 the size of the tip is t5 okay so let's open this we open the uh, screwdriver I mean the screws using a T5 screwdriver there you go Let's see. okay so all screws are out as you can see all screws are out and now it's time for us to take this apart. To take it apart, you need long nails. That's why I didn't cut my nails. You put your nails right there in the edge. All our four fingers would be much better because you could give it more support and your nails will not break. And watch. It's open. Now when you open it, you open the top first, okay, top first, but not the bottom because that cable will break. You see that cable? That will break. So you open the top nice and easily and this is your screen. And as you can see, that little uh, piece of, uh, uh, what do you call the plastic tab, I should say. Let me put it here so you can see. So that little tab needs to be bent this way. Let me zoom in a little bit. There you go. That tab needs to be bent this way. Okay, watch. Like that. See how this moves? See how it moves? This is lock position. This is open position. So what you do is you open it to let the cable loose. So now this cable is loose. Okay. Now what do we do? We need to 
replace the screen. The screen comes off very easily. You simply bend these little tabs on top and on the sides and your screen is out. Now you take the good screen, the new screen, and you put it here. Okay, so this is the screen which is perfectly fine. Nothing's wrong with it. Before I put this back in, I'm gonna have to put it, put it inside the frame. Now notice, when you look at the frame, this is the bottom, that's the top. And same with the screen. Where the cable is, cable is the bottom, and this is the top. So you have to put the screen inside the frame this way. Okay, so let's find out how we're going to put this in. You just snap it in. There are a couple of tabs, two tabs here, two here, that are holding it. And you snap it in in place. Basically, that's there's nothing much to it. That's, that's all you have to do. Now, we have to put this back in here. This is where we need to lift this tab, slide this in, and go from there. So let's do that. We lift it up, we slide this in, like that, close this back, like this, nice and level. You make sure that when you put the cable in, so it's not in an angle, it's like uh, parallel with the connector, it has to be parallel. So now we will close the GPS and, and the front case snaps in with a back case like that yeah the front snaps in with the back case and all you have to do is put the four screws which we have originally taken out and you will be in business in no time so we put the screws Let's get it from an angle here. We get the second set of screws. And the last set of screws. Okay, now this should be up and running, fully functional GPS if the surgery went good or if it was successful surgery. Let's find out. There you go, nice and neat. Everything seems to be working fine. So, looks like the surgery went successful. All right. So, yeah, that's that's about it. So, I hope you learned a thing or two from this uh, repair. Uh, please make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.